Okay, this is a test. Um, for a test basically to see if this um, camera setup is going to work. Um, I'm shooting all these videos in the how-to series on my kitchen table because for a lot of folks, myself included now, for I no longer have a jewelry studio, um, kitchen table is where most of this stuff happens. So um, I decided I would film them on my kitchen table to illustrate that fact. Today's video is going to be about Viking wire knitting, how to set up for it, and in particular uh, to set it up like this. There are a couple of different ways you can do this kind of Viking style wire knitting. This is how I choose to do it, around a dowel. The dowel supports the stitches as you go, and uh, you can actually use uh, different sized dowels and different sized wires to create Viking wire knit that has uh, a different thickness. Um, and each, each, I guess, size of Viking style wire knitting lends itself to different sorts of possibilities. And I'll insert some pictures of uh, jewelry that I've made using Viking wire knitting rope as the, the, the launch point. So today's video is going to be about how you do this. Um, you're going to need some 20 gauge wire. Oops, put it in, in frame, Catherine, because that's what we make this part from. Um, and that's what supports the first few stitches that you make. I tend to use at least 20 gauge wire for that. And then to actually do the knitting, you're going to need some finer wire. When you're starting out, uh, 26 gauge is a lovely gauge to work with, 26 gauge copper in particular, because it's extremely forgiving and um, um, easy to work with. And that will become, um, the importance of that will become apparent to you as you begin to, to do your knitting. So two gauges of wire, 20 for the, the support piece at the top, um, and 26 for uh, the actual knitting. And of course you're gonna need a dowel. Um, I'm going to say that this is probably about a, hmm, I'd say that's probably a three eight of an inch dowel. Might be, I don't think it's a half inch. But you need a dowel that's uh, not too big. I like to have uh, six stitches on my, um, uh, Viking wire knitting and a dowel this size is my go-to. It's the size that I use whenever I'm having uh, I'm doing classes or things like that. Um, you can do Viking wire knitting on other sizes of dowels. This is a 28 gauge sterling silver on a finer dowel as you can see. And um, this is a 24 gauge copper on a slightly thicker dowel. So, and as you can see, it's very well used because it's gently changed color over time. Um, you're also going to need to do Viking wire knitting, um, a pair of cutters, gauge to cut your wire, a pair of uh, chain nose pliers, because there might be times when you need to grab the end of your wire to pull it through to get it started. You need a pro polish pad or a piece of steel wool or a jewelry polishing cloth to clean your wire because you clean your wire when it comes off the spool to help straighten it out. You're going to need uh, an old gift card, um, something like that to um, wrap your 20 gauge wire around. That's what makes the little carriage that uh, sits at the top of the dowel. Uh, I have used cardboard business cards, say three of them taped together but a plastic uh, gift card or, or old credit card um, will do just fine. You're going to need a draw plate. This is a plastic draw plate. Um, they can be had fairly inexpensively. I'll put a, uh, in, the, in the description box below this video, I'll put a couple of sources for this. Um, once you finish your Viking wire knitting, you're going to need to draw it down to um, a narrower thickness. And I'll explain more about that when the time comes. But you will need one of those. And if your eyesight is as crappy as mine, even with my reading glasses, I find that these little clip-on magnifiers can be my best friend. Um, they too, I bought this online and I'll put a link to them, uh, a source to them below. They come in handy, especially for Viking wire knitting because um, copper wire, or any wire for that matter, that's 26 gauge, 28 gauge, it's pretty fine stuff and it keeps you from literally missing a stitch. Anyway, that's what we're going to need to get started today. Uh, I'm going to end the first video here uh, with a few pictures that I promised earlier of things you can make with Viking wire knitted rope once you're done. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to begin uh, setting things up. 
Don't go away.